This serene and lovely setting is Arundel in Sussex, so typically English in appearance and in character. Yet right in the high street itself, one can step into a completely different world, for this is the rather incongruous location for a museum of primitive art, probably the most important private collection in the world. Here there are relics to fascinate the layman as well as experts like Mr. Frank Foster, Fellow of the Geological Society and Fellow of the Royal Society of Arts. This, for example, is an Indian chief's food bowl, while from the same tribe of Haida Indians, British Columbia, comes this medicine man's rattle. Islands in the South Pacific are represented by these preserved and decorated skulls, while a man who went in for scalps rather than skulls was the chief of the Sioux Indians of North America. Fortunately for her, that's a peace pipe he's got in his hand. Although, come to think of it, it's some time since we've had redskins on the warpath and biting the dust. In the Eskimo section, there are needles made from whalebone. Fancy having to catch a whale every time your wife mislays the needle and thread. And snow goggles made from wood. Director of the museum, Mr. James Hooper, started the collection nearly 50 years ago when his father gave him a native spear. Today it includes rare objects like this 16th century ivory goblet from Nigeria. A dancer's mask used in ancestral ceremonies in the South Pacific. And more weird, the only known mask of its kind, once worn by a member of the Galadi Secret Society in a tribe in Nigeria, the faces representing good and evil spirits. Strange, but typical of this fascinating collection.